Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Today we're going to work on the awning right up there. Uh, again, we did get the rail situation taken care of, but now, uh, and I'll show you here in a second, but there's all these little pinholes in the awning material. And if we zoom in on them, you see there's holes in the material and it runs all the way down the whole length of the awning there's another one there so the material is weakening and what it is it's it's the part of the material that's always exposed to the sun whether this is uh, awning is out or if it's rolled in because um, there's no cover that goes over it when it's rolled up so the sun constantly beating on it just kind of destroys the material after a while. So we're going to reinforce it with a tape and I'll show you what that tape looks like. So I've tried using things like awning tape. That's what this is. Some leftover from the last time I had tried to repair, which is what this is. By Campco. I bought this other one. Oh, a while back for emergencies it's extra wide it's six inches wide and ten feet long I haven't tried this one but my experience with this one which was by Campco uh, is that it didn't adhere very well to the uh, awning fabric now I've used things like flex tape uh, to reseal the bottom of the trailer I had to cut open something and then uh, the flex tape worked very well and held up and stuck really good and it was water resistant this is the same thing as the flex seal except for it's made by Gorilla it was a little bit cheaper so I went with it but it's uh, it's water waterproof uh, real thick adhesive on there bonds well it's flexible so, and it's black, which matches the color of the awning. Uh, so, I'm going to give this a whirl. So, we're going to clean off the area, the strip. This is only 10 feet, so I may need more. I want to see how it goes. I think that awning is about 16 feet. So, we're going to go with the Gorilla. And that works out. I'll buy a little more and uh, complete the thing across. So... I mean, so far, it, the material is holding together. It's just uh, when it rains, water drips down through there. And I don't want to let it just totally deteriorate and fall apart. So we're going to put the tape on the other side, on the black side. And hopefully it blends in well enough that nobody will notice. The, uh, the awning tape, I tried it down at that end there. And it just looks terrible. So hopefully this uh, this works out better. So I rolled it in more so I can work on it. But you can see the, the holes in the material. So it's quite a bit there. So I'm going to... And uh, yeah, you can see it here. It's all... And are like brittle. All right. All right. Get the gorilla tape. We're just gonna layer in there. Should be good. All right. So so far so good. I didn't start at the very edge, but. So far, she's laying in there pretty good. I don't think you're going to notice it. I used this stitching as a guide so I could get this on straight. So now it's just a matter of slowly working this down all the way down there. All right. So far, we're following right along that stitch. 
give me a nice straight line. Just pull this. I deviated just a little bit. We're gonna work that back up. But it's laying on there nice. Well, you can see where that other tape was. And it's mostly gone. A little bit of it left, so that didn't work out all that great. But look at that. I gotta get more. I'll have to quick run to the store and get more. Uh, I completed it. I have made two rows. of the Gorilla tape and it's waterproof and fade resistant so this should work out pretty well looks good and I'm right on top of it there's two rows here one row here and the other one there so this adds quite a bit of strength also to the fabric, the fabric is weakening because of UV sunlight. So I'm gonna roll it out and let's see how it looks. I bet you don't even notice. All right, yeah, you don't even notice it from down here at all. So. All right, and then that's how it looks. Rolled up. And you can't tell that's all taped up. Looks good. Definitely. No one would ever really realize that that's tape on there. So, And that's protecting it from uh, the sun's UV rays too. So uh, we should be able to squeeze maybe another year or two out of this awning material, that would be great. All right. That clear awning tape that I bought at Camping World, and that wasn't cheap either, just did not work. So it's all fell apart, disintegrated. But this is what we used. All right, so I used three rolls because they're four inches by 10 feet. And this is a 16 foot awning uh, lengthwise. So three rolls, $12 a roll, $36 to fix that is worth it. All right. So until next time, happy camping. Bye now. Thomas says, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Until next time, happy camping.